do I wish he would. Um, but anyway, he is a fantastic player. I think he's seeded over that kids for this. So we'll see how this matchup ends up playing out. Definitely that kids, both from a character and player perspective, an underdog here. And oh. Already this match starting out with a grab. That's one of Kirby's best tools at these lower percents. Look at that, 41% already on Wonton Warrior. He's actually kind of struggling to find hits. Okay. <laughs> that kid gives it to him by just running into the bomb. Doesn't get an explosion, but instead that tiny little bit of hit stun is actually what gave Wonton this opening. And oh, what an opening it is, 78%, and he's running low on jumps. He's out of jumps, in fact. That's going to be a really early stock from Wonton. All of that converting off of a single missed bomb pickup from that kids. Oh, that just in terms of what that says about this matchup, or about against Wonton specifically as a player, you cannot afford to just make mistakes. Oh! But don't make mistakes against that kids either. I was actually going to say early on how, oh, Kirby, you know, he has some really good edge guarding with things like his down air with his neutral air. But the fact that Link has access to bomb recoveries, which for all intents and purposes can basically make him recover from anywhere, I was thinking that, oh, this is going to be pretty easy for Wonton to recover. But in that position, he didn't have time to pull a bomb. And that's what that kids, you know, took advantage of in order to even up the stock count. Since then, that kid's though been pushed into the corner, been taking lots of damage. Ooh, but these tiny little openings and see if he can actually do anything off of it. I love this corner pressure. He's managing to find all of these grabs. One time, maybe a little bit too reliant on that shield. It's actually one of not only a really good source of damage for uh, Kirby, but in <laughs> okay, how many are you gonna get? All of that from. Grab after grab after grab. You'd think that this is melee with chain grabs based on how many he got consecutively in a row. And that's the second time now that that kid has evened up a stock with uh, out taking much damage at all. But the issue is, if you're him, ooh, you can't let that same pattern persist because you are on your last stock right now. Any one strong hit could actually do this for one time Wario, and Link definitely, even at these percents, he has those strong moves. I think he wanted to try and two-frame with the forward smash. Didn't quite find it, and now that kid's is the one who's in the corner at the ledge. Oh, but so far these nice recoveries keeping him from dying. That forward tilt is going to do it, though. Nice read on the ledge roll. That's going to be Wonton moving up game one. Uh, currently sitting at 1-0. Ah. <sighs> You know, in terms of adaptations that need to be made, I think that one thing is that that kid's, he kind of is overextending at, least at certain times. Like at the end there, the reason why he was put on the ledge is because he went off stage maybe when he shouldn't have. And considering just how much Wonton Warrior has been able to exploit his opponent being in the corner, I think that willingly putting yourself there, you know, through your own hubris is probably, uh, I mean, it, as we just saw, it's a recipe for disaster, for defeat. That being said, that kid's also shown that his corner pressure is fantastic as well. And if you're Wonton, you got to clean up with that just a little bit. Three, two, one, go! Yeah, I, I want to point out that there were some... Normally, Kirby can struggle to end stocks. Uh, but that was not an issue for that kid. I think both of the stocks that he took were hovering around the 100 range. Ooh, and I don't think that forward air, the second forward air was true, but Wonton Warrior eats it nonetheless. And this is okay. Actually, I know that down throw does more damage, but perhaps back throw would have been the correct call there just because of how consistently that kid has been getting damage in the corner. Oh, wait, that boomerang was so tricky. That alleviated all of the corner pressure that that kid had been, uh, you know, putting out to that point. <gasps> I don't know if he has a jump, but bomb recovery! He misses the tech! He had that, like, he slowed down at the very last second. I think he was expected to be launched right into the, uh, the stage, and as a result, he actually misses his tech. That's huge for that kid. I mean, oh! That was so good! He was for the instant throw, abusing the invincibility! Not only that, but down throw, because it's a longer throw, has so much invincibility to it. And just like that, that kid is actually looking to lap Wonton Warrior in percent. 
Wonton. Uh, I was criticizing that kid for his overextension to the previous game, and it didn't really work out that badly for Wonton right there, but that was uh, a bold upbeat that he did right there. That down air covering very specifically those high up Bs. And speaking of those up Bs, managing to land another one of them. It's been honestly a great, fantastic edge guarding tool. <gasps> the fact that he fell out of it, that absolutely would have killed considering how many jumps that kid had already expended at that point. And the fact he fell out of it is what led him to get that spike just a second later. What a reversal from that kid's managing to maintain his... That was so good. That down tilt was so nice. Not only is it quick, but the fact that he low profiles can also help him avoid some of the uh, damaging moves that uh, Link might throw out in that instance. All right, 110% on that, kids. Trapped at the ledge. He has to be scared. He has to be scared of another uppie or even a forward tilt. That was so good. The way that he throws out the boomerang specifically at the angle so that it would cover the ledge roll, which when you're about to be trumped, that's one of the options you're usually going to opt for. So just... The coverage on Wonton is looking so good right now, but you know, despite how nice that coverage might be, he needs to be making some big plays happen because 107, 121%. He has an entire another stock from that kid that he still needs to take care of. You know, if that kid's just throwing out all of these uh, these arrows, it might be worth just walking towards him because Link does have that Hylian shield. Okay, never mind. That was actually beautiful. Baiting him into uh, in on that approach and some good micro spacing wonton takes the stock but 177 percent this is sort of thing where he needs to get some re either like a really nice combo into an edge guard or just good consistent play because i don't think he's quite an up throw death percent yet but one more hit even if he doesn't die from this next hit the next one will probably bring him into range for that <gasps> oh the platform can bring him there no not quite enough and that trade actually working out for that kids very Rarely do you see people try to contest Link down air, especially with a character with typically stubby normals like Kirby. But knowing in that situation that the up air would be enough to actually close out the game, he <laughs> threads the needle, finds the uh, the blind spot in those down air hitboxes, uh, gets the trade in order to take game two. We're now moving into game three against these two players. All right, and you know, just how I said in game one, oh, maybe that kid shouldn't be overextending. I think that now <laughs> you are, I am rubber, you are glue. That is definitely sent to Wonton Warrior because he was going for some what well, would have been really cool plays, but like, I, I'm sorry, I always think back to that second stock where he was going for these offstage uppies and then that kid fell out of it. That wasn't even something that was in his control, really, just because he needed to re grab the ledge. He couldn't lean into it. So maybe go for safer ledge traps, safer edge guards. Uh, because, you know, putting yourself Three, off stage, two, one, that kid has absolutely shown that he will abuse it. Oh, to the fullest. Yo, funny, starting off the game with the gr <gasps> The pivots! All right, I like the fact that this microspacing is getting better, but you can't be too reliant on that sort of thing. Uh, that kid's just showing that he's willing to zone break right run right into Wonton Warrior's face, not giving him a chance to throw projectiles or anything like that. Another one of those uppies, kind of a committal option. If you're that was gorgeous. That was so good. He found that. The fact that he found that down air sniped him. It was at the very tail end of it as well. And now as a result, Wonton is absolutely on the back foot here. Only 53% onto that, kids. And this damage differential is growing even wider. Yeah, when that kid's at the ledge, I think that Wonton is, yeah, he's trying to think about, okay, how do I actually take stock from this point, considering the fact that uh, and that's how you do it. Yeah, that weak neutral air into uh, just a solid, I think it was a jump read to get the forward air. And, you know, that's one of the weaknesses of Kirby as well. He is a light character. He's a little pink puffball. Not a lot of weight to him. And that's a situation where... Oh, my... No. Even if he got hit by the forward smash, he would have been fine. 
but the fear was just too much. It possessed him. And now Wonton Warrior, despite being up game one, despite the fact that I honestly think he's been playing, playing pretty well this set, the sloppiness in this game three is just costing him so dearly. And one of those low percent mistakes with that trip, he's at 65 already. He's been lapped in percent. And that gets us looking totally comfortable here. Able to get off the ledge for free. A forward smash. Look how much damage that is. 90% and... Oh! All right. Cheeky edge guards from both players. Wonton Warrior. All right. 98%. This is definitely rough for him, but the fact that Kirby can struggle to kill, that might be, you know, Wonton's ticket to victory right now. As long as he just get hit, as long as he does get hit by like a back air or uh, any smash attack in that back air, though, that's definitely what that kid is looking for. He could feasibly. Why? I was. Did you not listen to me when I was? <laughs> uh, just so you guys know, we're not going to be having commentator games because uh, the casters are. We're trying something new. Going to be further away in the venue from the uh, the actual stream setup.